Hello, welcome to this Elder Scrolls Blades PvP guide. My name is Blue Label and welcome to the Greybeards. All the information on this guide has been compiled from the most experienced PvP players on this game. First of all, we are going to talk about general theory. Magicka is the amount of points you can spend to cast spells and stamina is the amount of points you can spend to use abilities. You Your base regeneration during combat is 4% per second. Primary Enchantments As we all know, we have 7 options on each type. Fire, Frost, Shock, Potion, Health, Magicka and Stamina. But we are going to focus on enchantments on your helmet, chest, boots and gauntlets. Before giving you advice, we need to let you know that your health on PvP is multiplied by 3. So you have more health on PvP than PvE. There are 4 conditions or effects you need to consider. A target on fire takes continuous fire damage and cannot regenerate health. A frozen target is slowed and cannot regenerate stamina. A drained target cannot heal themselves or regenerate magicka. A poison target takes continuous poison damage, and their maximum health is reduced until the end of combat. This effect is triggered automatically on any target that takes at least 25% of their PV max health. On PvP, PV health is used for the calculation. Condition is set when damage from one element reaches the amount of 25% of PvE health within 5 seconds from that particular element. Not all damage from all elements combined. Physical damage doesn't count towards elemental condition. Therefore the importance of wearing armor that provides more health. When you use elemental resistance pieces does make it harder for you to receive the elemental damage but also less damage is needed to give you the condition. Health armor gives you more consistency and can also make it harder for you to be conditioned in general because of how condition is applied. If you have more health it means they must do more damage to you in order to set the condition. So the reasons why I do not recommend elemental resistance on armor are for. 1. This is not a guessing game. It is imposable to know what element is your opponent going to use. 2. Health armor gives you more consistency. 3. Elemental resistance does not give protection to elements when your opponent is using the secondary enchantment, elemental damage ignores resistance. 4. Instead of using elemental resistance, you can increase your base magicka or stamina points so you are not going to be easy ravaged. Take a look to this chart to see how much damage is required to set the condition. Now we are going to talk about secondary enchantments. Different players may desire different secondary enchantments based on mind? their overall strategies, but in general the following are the most useful secondary enchants on gear. Slashing Resistance Bashing Resistance Cleaving Resistance Spell Resistance Shortens Elemental Condition by 16% Improves Main Enchantment by 15% Those are the most useful secondary enchantments you can get on armor. The ideal setup involves two secondary enchantments on each piece of your armor set, effectively combined for stacking to take advantage of enchantment synergy, for example, here I'm going to show my turtle armor. I use this armor against heavy warriors. Strategically combine the different types of physical resistance secondary enchantments to get an armor called, turtle armor. Turtle armor is an armor that provides resistance to all kind of physical damage. Secondary Enchantments on Jewelry and Gauntlets There are 8 types of secondary enchantments on jewelry and gauntlets. Physical Adrenaline, increases physical damage by X magnitude while health is critical. Physical Opportunist, increases physical damage by X magnitude against targets suffering a condition. Extend Elemental Statuses, prolongs targets elemental conditions by X magnitude. Elemental Resistance Piercing, Elemental damage ignores X points of Target's resistance Elemental adrenaline, increases elemental damage by X magnitude while health is critical Elemental opportunist, increases elemental damage by magnitude against targets suffering a condition Fortify primary effects, improves main enchantment by X magnitude Physical armor piercing, physical damage ignores X magnitude points of target's armor rating you need to try getting the best combination of those four extra enchantments and stack them with enchantment synergy. 
As you can see there are enchantments that are only activated when your opponent is suffering a condition. Therefore the importance of setting your opponent under elemental conditions and to avoid being under a condition. And as a final subject. Secondary enchantments on weapons. There are also 8 secondary enchantments you can get on weapons. And there are basically 7 useful secondaries on weapons. Here you can see on this image the effect of all those secondaries. I hope this guide was useful for you. May all our beards be prosperous and bursting with knowledge. See you on the next guide, with love, your friend Blue Label.